So many people will be watching this going, I've had infidelity in my relationship and we're 10 years past that and we have an extraordinary relationship and how dare you invalidate my entire what relationship. About, what about the millions of people who have watched it and thought to themselves, if I had just known this, I wouldn't have carried on with that woman, started a family with her and now she lives in my home with another man and I pay child support. What about those people? When women cheat, there is a, um, it's more definitive, as in that it's harder for them to come backwards from cheating. When your woman cheats on you, it's very difficult to forgive her. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I highly don't recommend it. Why should men not forgive the women they're with who cheat on them? Because for a woman to cheat on you, it's not that she's fallen in love with another man. She's just definitely not in love with you. Ooh, man, and that's so for hurt. you to take her back is just providing her free accommodation until she meets a man she wants to fall in love with. A lot of men think, God, oh, no, women are so emotionally attached to sex. No, no, no. Some women can literally have an affair with a local PT who doesn't care about her and she doesn't really care about him. It's what's the driving force is not the love for the guy that she's cheating on. It's a lack of love and respect for the man she's cheating on. Interesting. Yeah. And so when you forgive her and retry with the relationship, she's already decided she doesn't really want to be with you, but she will stay in this until she f finds someone that will love so her. So if a man cheats on a woman that she's in, he's in a committed relationship with, does, is it also saying he doesn't respect and love her? It's more of a lack of respect and a, a lack of fear of losing the relationship. A lot of them can say that they can compartmentalize. They want their relationship to work. They love their wife very deeply. They want all of that, but they are just outsourcing the sex because it might be lacking or it's not the way they like it or they're outsourcing a feeling. Women, when they cheat, um, it's not so much that there's something they're craving outside. It's just there's something in the house that they're just not happy with. I've had clients come on the phone or a video call and I've... Uh, I switched on my screen and I've looked at the couple and I say, I, I can tell she's cheating. No I, way. Without saying a word. They haven't said a word to me. And I remember the last couple I did this with and I looked and I thought, she's having an affair, but I'm not going to say anything. You said it publicly? Or? After a comment. And I said, what, what brings you here? And she started with, uh, we have a great relationship. We're very good. Everything is good. We just don't love each other anymore. And I said, can you be honest with me? Are you having an affair? And she said, well, recently that, and it, it transpired that she has having an affair. And I said, I can tell by your lack of connection to your husband, your lack of love. You're not, you're, most people, when they come on a therapy call, he was all suited and booted, ready for this call, like oh, save my man. marriage. Oh. She was literally just like, oh God, do we have to do this? Like the disconnect that was there, was there was no coming back from it. It looked like she was held like by the throat to be there. Oh, and that's such a common theme when a woman cheats. It seems to be like, I'm not actually in love with you anymore, but I'll make it work because the guy, the, like I haven't got many alternatives. So what I say to men is, firstly, not only is she not in love, the second thing is it ignites something in a man that's not good for him. And the main thing it ignites is a feeling of inadequacy, sexual inadequacy and masculinity, but it can lead to physical abuse when it comes to a man. That anger and rage, some men will use that anger and rage to just leave and go work on themselves. Other men will use that anger and rage to control and to abuse. Relationship can truly repair and heal after someone has cheated? You not when a woman cheats. When a woman cheats, you think it's a lot harder or you just don't think it's possible? Not possible. Every time a man forgives a woman cheating, um, she eventually leaves him for forgiving oh. her. Oh, really? Yeah. It, why is that? It's just because of lack of self-respect? Uh, is it a lack of... She understands now that there is no boundaries to this relationship. Most women are under the impression that a man would leave. Men tend to think that women can be a bit softer and emotional and they can kind of convince them. Most women tend to assume men will leave because that's what they tell each other. Oh, I would never put up with it. I would never put up with it. So when she learns he's willing to accept the unacceptable, she now realizes unacceptable behavior will run with him. And therefore, there is no motivator to prevent it happening again. When women cheat, you're simply waiting for her to leave. When she's got that curiosity and she opens herself up to being pleased by other people, it becomes difficult to revert back to monogamy. Oh, I can be pleased by someone else as well, or maybe it's better or it different. It could be man or, or woman. It could be man or woman. When you open that door up for her to unlock that part of her to somebody else, it becomes difficult to reverse. There is a lack of respect that comes afterwards, yeah. Yeah. and there's a willingness to try again, and it just means she rarely stops because she's now checked out of the relationship. It's better to just let her go rather than hold her and then have so much rage yeah. and either rage towards her or rage towards yourself. Either way, wow. it's not good. And I know that sounds too definitive and too negative, but in the original, when I first started my practice, I used to take a lot of my inspiration from Esther Proel where she was like, you can rebuild, have those conversations. 
What I noticed is the rebuilding is just buying time. When there weren't dating apps, it might kind of undo itself. In this day and age, when there's so many alternatives combined with almost what they see as permission, it, it means delaying, delaying the divorce. All right, Mazzy, I'm curious about your thoughts. With the women that you work with, and I know women cheat that come to your retreats or they're trying to like heal and fix their broken heart and all these different things, repair from being cheated on, all these different things. Uh, why do you think women cheat or the ones that have communicated why they cheated? What's the main reason women cheat in a long-term relationship? And can uh, a relationship repair after cheating occurs? I struggle immensely with the kind of way that this is being framed. The talk about, you know, women cheat because they don't respect their man. So many people cheat because they are craving an emotional connection that they're not getting inside their relationship. I mean, how many women are with men that are never present, who don't show up for them, who workaholic, obsessed with their business, obsessed with something else. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they find that they develop an emotional connection with someone on the outside. Yeah that maybe started innocently enough, but you know, that emotional connection turned into something more. We're missing a giant archetype there, which is the woman who is craving connection. That's the precursor mm -hmm. to a physical connection. So would you say the fault lies in the man not meeting her needs or in the cheater herself? That's wrong. And that's on either side to not have that conversation that, hey, I'm not getting my needs met. Can we talk about this? Or even, hey, I'm having feelings for someone I need to talk about this because I don't want it to go to a place I can't come back from. So that, that, of course that's wrong. The scope of why people cheat is a lot wider than, you know, I don't, I, dis I don't respect my husband and so I'm just going to go and do this. I struggle with this idea that women are, once they've cheated, they just can't look at their man the same way again. To kind of other women in that way, where it's like a, women, a woman is incapable of having the ability to go, oh my God, I have really up here. Yeah. I have hurt the person that I love, who mm -hmm. loves me. I've hurt this person that I've made a vow to, that I'm in this relationship with, who didn't deserve it. Yeah. That has nothing to do with them. That's on me. If this person is kind enough, if they have the space in their heart to forgive me, I'm going to honour that. The idea that that's impossible to me suggests that you feel like women are somehow missing a compassion gene. It's that men not are, It's that, not men that they're have. missing a compassion gene. They're looking for protectiveness in a way that men Men don't look for in women. I think that's incredibly reductive. And what does protect mean exactly? Uh, a protectiveness is like a biological, if we take it in an evolutionary sense, a protectiveness would be from an alpha perspective in an evolutionary terms, it would be a man that protects his kin from cuckoldry. It protects his children being born from somebody else, essentially, paternal uncertainty. Now, uh, from a primitive perspective, we look for men who not only can gather resources, but can also prevent um, paternal uncertainty. Now, when he's missing that fundamental, like he's not bothered about paternal uncertainty, it's not that we- he is bothered. He's, let's say he's brokenhearted. Masculinity is about knowing when to walk away. As you are did. framing forgiveness as the antithesis of masculinity. But you are framing forgiveness as acceptance. Forgiveness is saying this relationship means more to me. Yeah. Than my pride or my ego. I love you. Uh -huh. I want to make this work and I'm going to be a big enough man to make this work in spite of this, but that why? makes that makes him the bigger person. It doesn't make him emasculate. It, you're framing forgiveness as he's emasculated himself by forgiving her and yeah. she can never get over that moment of him I, emasculating I himself. I believe that very, very strongly. And the reason being is that the relationship should mean loads to you, but part of you should understand for her to do this, we don't see the relationship in the same light. Your inability to understand the importance of reciprocity is what makes you less masculine. It's not a case of forgive me all day, every day, but for me to step out on you means that this relationship means something different in your eyes than it does in my eyes. There's some women that lack emotional connection, but they don't progress to cheating. There's some women that lack financial stability, they don't go to cheating. I think the lacking com is one component, but it's not the only. But I, it's I guess the what lack I'm saying is why is it different? 
different for men? The only I would I personally don't think there's much coming back from when men cheat either. But in my personal experience, sometimes what I notice is men go into two categories, right? Some men will, when a woman forgives them, they'll think, right, I've got a freedom pass, I can do this forever. I'm gonna do this forever. Other men will think, I've done it, I've tried it, I've tried all types of it's out of it's usually sexual. So it's out of my system. Or I, I hurt wanna, my I hurt I, myself, I hurt my wife. I hurt myself and, they and I can lose my family and my kids. Yeah, I could lose, there's too much to lose. And then they can repair. With women, it's just a not only, it, it, and also the other thing is he doesn't start to think less of her for, for forgiving him. In my experience, men don't think less of a woman for forgiving him. They might think, I, I'm, they might go and disrespect and do it again, but they still think, oh, she's really loyal. And they kind of like the forgiveness. They kind of appreciate the forgiveness. With a forgiveness, when you give to a woman, it just makes her feel like I have a man that doesn't respect himself more. And he likes the relationship more than he likes himself. The primary emotion for most people when they cheat, unless they're incredibly unhealthy, is shame. It's terrible shame. It's guilt that overwhelms them. Underlying trait to cheat is a lack of guilt and a lack of shame. I think to get there involves an element of lack of shame and guilt. I, I don't know that that's true. I, I, there's so many people who cheat are guilt-ridden, shame-ridden, hate themselves afterwards, re regret it for years. The idea that women are sort of especially bad and underhanded and that they'll go and cheat and once they've cheated, to add insult to injury, if he forgives her, they'll go, yuck, you forgave me. Absolutely, I have yeah. no respect for you now. That is perpetuating an idea that actually makes a lot of men incredibly angry at women for very unjust reasons. Because the truth is women are just as capable of feeling, and in many cases more so, feeling tremendous shame and guilt after they've cheated. That is the headline. The headline this. isn't, if he forgives me, I am going to keep screwing him over, over and over again. The but headline then how is, do you I, am, I am guilt ridden. And if he's forgiven me, I still struggle with the guilt. And it's going to take me a long time to get over. If you ask somebody who's been cheated on, if they had a magic pill, one would make them forgive their partner and the other one would give them the willingness to walk away. Which pill would they take? Most people wish they had the ability to walk away because they don't want to live with those thoughts and flashbacks. If you gave everybody those options, men or women, they would take the pill that says, I have the willingness to walk away and understand that this is not healthy for me, rather than a pill that makes me forget. When you know your wife has slept with another man, and had sex with another man, every position you've done with her, she's done it with another man, and you show forgiveness on that end. You're discounting what a relationship is. A relationship is two people who have built something together. By the way, in many cases, if someone cheats on you, leaving is easier. Leaving is the easier way out. Mm -hmm. Staying and healing and doing the work with someone to get over it is the harder path. People don't take the easy pill of just leaving a lot of the time. And not just because they're desperate or because they, they're too weak. Sometimes they take the other road because they are brave and because they actually believe in the relationship and they love the person but and they want to make it work. But love is not reciprocal, is the key component, because if it was reciprocal, nobody would be doing something that would fundamentally destroy it. Yes, you can forgive and it's a difficult route and you can go, but what you're ignoring is cheating is a symptom, not the cause of the pain. There's a deeper issue of respect in the relationship that's been lost. There's a deeper issue of transparency in the relationship that's been lost. In a relationship that's healthy, there's standards that you're mm -hmm. supposed to have, right? Mm -hmm. And hopefully you communicate those, but some of those are uncommunicated. We're not supposed to cheat if we're in a committed yeah. this relationship. And especially a standard. reciprocated. It should be reciprocated. Fidelity. We're going to trust each other. We're going to be loyal. We're not going to cheat. If it was a man that cheated on the woman, should the woman stay if the man says, I'm really sorry, it's never going to happen again? Or he just says, I'm just not getting my needs met. Would she be brave for forgiving him and very kind for forgiving him? She might be, yeah. We're not... very definitive about saying 100% of the women. time with women, they are incapable of such grace Yeah, that they cannot do it. In fact, for them, the only motivator is how manly and masculine the person is. And apparently that's defined by him rejecting her after. Whenever I've done videos where I talk about this, the endless amount of comments and messages I get saying, this is a hundred percent true. I forgave my wife. She did it again and again. And I found out my children weren't mine. She did it again. The risk of men Forgiving cheating is bigger than the risk of women's forgiving cheating. If a man cheat and he leaves her on her own with kids, that doesn't represent a giant uh, Yeah, it does. Issue. In your mind, the issue is bigger if she cheats and... He has children that he's paying for. I know there's cases of men going to right, jail. So that's a financial obligation, but that's a worse one than 
the woman who's going to spend her life raising children on her own when a guy leaves. And my husband doesn't pay child support. The law will help me. You'll still be raising kids I on your be, own. I will be. I will be. But, but that's a lesser you ask risk. Financially, you ask financially. So I'll stay to, on the finances. No, I'm saying is the finance a lesser risk to you than a woman having to bring up a family on her own? Bringing up the children alone will happen. Men or women cheating or just a breakdown of relationship. It's, but here's the diff key difference. If I have a child with somebody and he chooses not to pay child support, I can take, I can get the law involved. But if I pretend the child's his and he's not paying child support, he can end up in jail for a child that's not even his. Yeah. A woman cheats and doesn't tell the husband he's with and has a child that's yeah. not the husband's child. The Imagine man... the emotional consequences of that. Imagine that. So we're women. Look, we always know our child is ours. One thing we can go through life is with that certainty that even if we're left alone raising this child, this is my child. I bore this child. And you know, yes, it's difficult, but it's in my child. The emotional consequences of raising children and then rigging, figuring out they're not yours or going to jail for not paying child support and the child's not even yours. So many people will be watching this going, I've had infidelity in my relationship and we're 10 years past that and we have an extraordinary relationship I... and how dare you invalidate my entire what relationship? About, what about the millions of people who have watched it and thought to themselves, if I had just known this, I wouldn't have carried on with that woman, started a family with her and now she lives in my home with another man and I pay child support. What about those people? 